I'm Coyote Peterson. This is Wildman Phil. The sun is going down, and tonight we're headed out into the desert to look for bats. The scorching deserts of southern Arizona are unbearable during the day, and most of the wildlife stays hunkered underground and out of sight. Generally, the best time to see creatures of the desert is at night. So this evening, the crew and I are headed out to work with wildlife specialist, Philip Ricosi. Known best as Wild Man Phil, he's a jack of all animals, and will be helping us search out one of the most perfectly designed predators of the night, in one of the places you least expect us to be looking. Phil, we are walking up to a bridge here. This is not really what I had in mind when you're going out looking for bats, but tell us why we're gonna look under this bridge. Well, because out here in the flat desert, we don't have a lot of mountains with a lot of caves. And uh, luckily, as people build things, they build bat habitats. So it's kind of like going to a giant bat house. We have, you know, bat houses in your backyard where you might have five or ten bats. You build a bridge, you might have a few thousand bats. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find a few thousand bats. <laughs> yeah. So where are these thousands of bats hiding? Yeah, look in the tight crack right up in here where they feel safer oh. during the day because oh, nothing can get no, to you're them. not kidding. Look at all those little eyeballs. Oh, that is creepy looking. These are Mexican free-tailed bats. Okay, now is this a species that can carry rabies? All bats can, but Mexican free-tailed bats actually account for very, very few uh, cases of rabies. Okay, so I don't have to worry about these guys shooting out of that crevice onto my face and grabbing onto me and bite me? Uh, no, you shouldn't have to. Okay, because no, you know, a lot of, the, you know, bats kind of have a bad reputation. A lot of people are afraid of bats. And I mean, these guys are so cute. I, I don't see how you could be afraid of this thing. You're telling me that you're able to capture one of these bats so we can get up close to look at it. Yeah, uh, bats can be fairly fragile, so uh, you have to know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, but you now is a good time to be able to do that. Okay. Um, if we've got this hook that we can fit up into there, we should be able to uh, do that. Uh, it works best with a two man team. So if you can hold the light up there, yep. uh, then uh, and, and be, watch out, they might poop in your eye. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm okay. well aware I will stay over here and try not to get pooped yeah. on try and get this guy down right about here. Oh, he's and got one. He got one. Wow! Look at that little guy, and he's not biting you? No, uh, that's a, another thing that's kind of a, a learned thing is how to grab him and not get bit. You want to hold him gently, that's important. Right. But uh, not enough that he can squirm and get away. But I want to show you. Wow, look at those wings! And that's, uh, that's his hand. Look at Pretty that, cool. so this is that's his arm, and these are all those little extended fingers, right? Yeah, so so right here, that's his elbow, mm -hmm. and then this is his hand. That is his thumb. All right. And then he's got fingers just like us, one here, one here, one here, one here, and as he opens those up, he's got a long pinky finger. Wow. So yeah. this this at the end here, this is his pinky? Yep. And last one right here at the tip. Wow. Now, I mentioned it's a free-tailed bat, so this is his free tail. This little piece of skin right here is called a Europatagium. It's a big long word that means skin between his foot and his tail. Mm -hmm. And he actually has a, uh, a piece of cartilage, a cartilage ring that goes around his vertebrae and he has muscles. So he can actually pull this down. Oh, look at that. Or up. So he can have a little tail or a long tail. So the tail helps him like pivot in the air? Yeah. And then he's got that bug net to scoop yep. up his dinner. Yep. And then open that up, grab that bug. Pop the foot in, pull the bug out, throw it in your mouth, all while flying. That is one efficient predator right there. Yep. Phil has shown me the technique of how to catch these Mexican free tail bats. And now it's my turn to try to give it a go. Fishing for bats is what we call this. And you'll kind of go up past them a little bit. And then when you slide it, you'll feel if, if uh, you hit something. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Close. Okay. <laughs> Dude, basically, <laughs> you got the technique. You got okay. the technique. I got two on that one. Okay. And then I kind of startled. They both jumped out, and Mark one flew right onto your leg. Okay. <laughs> Let me try that again. Oh, oh, missed him. Catching bats is not easy. I think you got some bat poop on your lungs there. Oh, ah, oh. oh. I got one. Yeah. I got him. I got him. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Yes. Look at this little guy. Only took me 10 tries, but that is the Mexican free tail bat. A little mouse with wings. Yeah. But my goodness, have you ever seen such a cute little critter? Look at those wings. Holy cow. Wow, the skin on these wings, it feels like real thin latex. 
Unbelievable, and look at those veins all going through the wings there. Holy cow, I have never captured a bat before. First time for me. Now what's the best way to release this guy? If I let go, will he just kind of fly off? The best thing is if you can kind of close him up without getting bit, and let his back leg grab onto your finger, and then when you open up, then he'll know when he's ready to, uh, to drop down. And I think he's probably ready <sighs> to take off into the night. Phil, I cannot thank you enough for taking us out here tonight to catch the Mexican free tail bat. My first time catching a bat underneath a bridge. Well, how can we find you and the work that you do? Uh, Wildmanphil.com. Sweet. Check out Phil's work. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.